Do you have a to-do list that's as long as the eye can see? Yeah. Do you have mountains of gray plastic? Yeah. Do you have limited time to paint, but want your armies fully done for the table? Hi. Do you put your finger in your belly button and sniff it? Wait, what? <laughs> then you need speed painting! Thank you, speed painting wizard! No problem, pal! See you later! Don't worry, in this episode I will show you how I turn this into this in this time. So, first step to cut the oh fuck. Cut these out, put them in the bases, right? So I'm gonna be using the old snips. Some of this. Don't like games watch up glue. I like the brush. Very nice. Right. Ready? Go. I need to turn it on first. <laughs> right, ready? Go. So all I'm doing here is cutting out the plastic miniatures and then gluing them into the base with plastic cement. Uh, Lord of the Rings miniatures are usually really fast because they're only one piece with the occasional little spear to add on. Just remember that you'll be playing games with these so make sure when you glue the spear in you don't make it in such a way that the model can't get into base to base combat. That's 14 seconds to do the first stage. 3.14 pi. Mm, I suppose it's a bad time when even your clock's calling you a pie, isn't it? Right, Sprue, get that to fuck. On to the next stage. Quick update, we have our men on the basing stick. Took an extra 20 seconds. Let's go get them spread. Oh, I can't see because of the sun. Oh, it's actually sunny in Scotland, what the fuck is going on? Four minutes, five seconds. I've also given my my clock here a nice zenithal highlight. Uh, broke my spray stick. Oh well. Just need to super glue it back on. So I'm gonna go with the silver all over everything because I do the silver, null and oil, dry brush silver again. I don't know why I'm counting. And then, even if I get silver everywhere else, like on uh, this cloth, I can just go over it again in black. And that shouldn't take long because there's only a tiny bit here, whereas if I got grey on the silver, it would take longer because there's, there's more. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about, guys. I know. Right, guys, I'm sorry, but next time I will remember to put the clock in the shot so you can see the time going by. There we go. Silver done. It took uh, some time. I'll do the maths later. Uh, that was the longest step to get all the silver done. But, you know, that's us. Next is uh, let that dry a little bit, then we'll hit the liquid skill. The old. No, no, no. Cool. No, 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 done. 13.48. Luckily, we're not taking into account Null Noil's drying time, are we? Or we'll be here all fucking day. Right, so that's that step. Oh fuck, dropped him. Oh, broke his spear. No, didn't. Thank God. That's the step done. All we need to do now is dry brush these with a the silver. You could actually skip this step and just leave it like that, but. I think it looks a lot better if you just give it a really light dry brush. I keep dropping these. And I'm just in a hurry, you know, speed painting. Got to be fast. I do apologise about how bad this footage is. I had my GoPro set up in time lapse throughout this entire video and it deleted all the footage again. I'm starting to think this is the second GoPro I've had that's broken on me and it's not my fault that the footage is deleting. 
Unfortunately, my mobile is also from 1975, so the footage from it is absolutely tragic. But I do have a new phone in the post, so hopefully future videos will be a lot better. Alright guys, that's them all done. Only took me 16 minutes and 24 seconds to paint 8 guys. You know, not my best work, but uh, definitely look the part and will look right at home in your Minister of Army. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, don't forget to... Got you! Getting on! Uh, that's only the silver done. So now we're on to... I might have lied. The hardest part might not have been the silver. The hardest part might be going over all the, the cloak and fixing all the stuff with black because uh, it's just not fun. So it'll be a lot more stressful than just slapping silver on, especially when I know that the silver can be fixed later on. That's us now starting a dry brush of Storm Vermin fur. We all know how easy it is to ruin black, so make sure it's a very light dry brush you do by getting all the paint off your paintbrush. If you wanted to take this to the next step, I would do an even lighter dry brush of a lighter grey. Decided to add two and a half minutes as a wee penalty for forgetting to use the timer. So um, now we're on to the browns. Just going to do all the leather and um, rain oxide, and yeah, let's go. I'm also using the rain oxide as a base coat for the skin before I use the Cadian flesh tone. It's also being used on miniatures who have non-black hair, so browns, gingers, and reds. If I wasn't using base ready and using my normal sand, I would be painting it to put nine oxide at this point as well. Remember to be really careful when doing the belts so you don't mess up the armour. Absolute nightmare to go back and fix this over at this point. And you know the whole point of this video is speed painting. Right, that's us done. 32 minutes. Oof. I don't even think we're halfway I'm a bit. I've never actually timed myself painting something before, so it's actually, even though I'm trying to go fast, I'm a bit kind of like, ooh, taking aback by how long I'm actually taking to paint these because it's only eight minutes to this, guys. Normally I paint massive, like 24 batch of guys, so it must take me hours to paint. Don't realise how much of your life you're wasting there. Eh? Wasting, that's the wrong word. <laughs> Enjoying, that's the one. Right, so next up I'm going to do the gold and the Cadian flesh tone. Aye, that's it. See you then. Right, um, gold and flesh done. All I'm going to do now is give them a couple of different hair colours, a couple of gin, get some gingy representation in there. It's different brown, screaming skull, just a bit of variation in the old back of the back of the helmet there. And then it'll be Agrax, and then I think that'll be it. Base it. Let's go. Stop the fucking clock! Don't know why I've done that. Right, 
All right, uh, last step. Um, I don't think I really need to do these, but I'm going to do Mornfang Brown round the base. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to dry brush the fingers of the gloves just to give a bit more detail. I'll maybe edge highlight the sword as well, I mean the sword hilt. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of faces and bases. You always need to remember that, faces and bases. So I'm going to highlight the face a little bit. And then I think that's it. Base it. Done. So, you know, let's get started. Let's try and get it down to under an hour. That's what I'm hoping. The bases are wet, so I'm going to wait till they dry before I do the Cadian flesh. Alright guys, all that's left is the base. And then that's us, so I've got my base ready from Geek Gaming Cinex. Uh, my PVA, all ready to go. I've done a tidy as well. Tidy workstation makes me work harder, I find, so do we tidy between projects. Oh no, I just got PVA glue on my... Oh, anyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, let's go. Forty six minutes twenty four. Um, I am while this dries because I'm going to I'm going to put some tufts on because tufts just. Ooh, chef kiss. Um, take the miniature to a wee next level. Forty-nine minutes, fifty-three. Beat your fucking heart out, mid-winter minis. That's who you speed paint. Look at that, lovely. Right, calm down, John. Right. Uh, anyway, I think that's fast. Fifty minutes to eight guys. No bad likes. Uh, here's the finished men. I'm not sure what happened to my bowmen, but I doubt four men would have added much more to the time. I will admit that Minas Tirith are the Necrons of Lord of the Rings, so maybe next time I'll paint something a bit more complicated. I'm thinking either Moria Goblins, as they are a, quite a big horde army, or the Pyjama Elves from my previous episode. So guys, let me know what you think of these in the comments. Would you be happy with them in your army? Do you think you could speed paint any faster? Are there any little changes you would make to increase the quality of the miniatures? Thanks for watching everyone, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and remember to give my bell a good old ring. Wow. Do you put your finger in your belly button and sniff it? Yes, I do have a Ron Weasley Halloween costume. Oops. <laughs> That'll be in the outtakes. Hey!
the postman and I'm dressed as a wizard. Oh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forget that. Oh I'm gonna be waking up in the night thinking about that. Oh Jesus Christ.